Hey everybody, welcome to Quidge Gaming's uh, walkthrough of Final Fantasy XV. Today we got a special video, we're going to show you how to fish. Uh, this is a mini game that some people might dislike. Uh, I personally dislike it. Um, but if you were watching my previous series of videos, you noticed that uh, there was a tour event, uh, the Liege of the Lake tour, um, that I didn't accomplish because uh, it requires a level 10, uh, which is max level, um, fishing, uh, you know, skill level up. So the problem with that is that uh, you cannot catch this fish unless you are maxed out at the max level. And frankly, I haven't been fishing a lot in this game. So uh, I couldn't go for that uh, tour. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually go for that tour and I'm actually going to catch two very difficult fish as well as give you some tips and pointers on how to properly fish in the game. So, uh, two things to remember, uh, you do want to um, try to cast your line and hit a fish directly. So uh, if you look at your meter at the top corner, you'll see as you're looking for a fish, um, once you hit, once you um, find a fish, uh, the target will go orange if you land right on the fish. So land on the fish as much as possible. And if you do land on directly on the fish, uh, you will definitely get um, uh, some kind of, you know, that red bar at the top. Um, so that shows up when you actually land on the fish with the orange target. Um, if you don't catch the fish, uh, then it's no problem because if you just shoot it again and land again with an orange target, most likely the fish will be caught. So uh, that's one definite uh, tip that you can find helpful, I hope. Um, the other one is, and the one that I have the most problems with when I was fishing was uh, trying to attract a fish in the first place. It's okay, you know, not too difficult to actually reel the fish in. Um, that's just a case of uh, pressing the right button at the right time and then uh, using the joystick and pointing in the direction that the, that the fish is moving. But definitely I found actually catching the fish, uh, attracting the fish is the hardest part of the fishing task. So one definite tip, you do not want to, 100%, you do not want to move your joystick after you cast your, your fishing line. Uh, if you move your joystick, it is just a waste of your time and uh, it probably will just not attract a fish. So only use the reeling do not use the joystick, um, you know, tap, stop, tap, tap, stop, tap, tap, stop is enough to catch a fish. So if you just do that, and if you have the right lure and the right fishing line, um, you'll be fine. So uh, I hope that helps. Another thing that will be helpful is um, you want to fish, if you're farming for this uh, specific um, trophy, the max level fishing trophy, you do definitely want to fish at Golden Quay. Um, if you don't care about what you're catching uh, and you just want the level up so you can do the tours and the other uh, side quests that are fishing, um, forget other fishing spots uh, for two reasons. One, Golden Quay is full of very easy to catch fish. And when you're trying to level up your fishing level, it doesn't matter which fish you catch or how big they are. Um, it doesn't matter at all. Quantity over quality. So just catch as many fish as you can, and that's all you need to do to level up. Um, the other thing about Golden Quay is that, um, you know, so they're so easy to catch, but if you like really suck at fishing, it doesn't matter because, um, there is a fishing shop right beside it. So if you keep on breaking your lines, if you keep on losing your lures, um, just go to the shop, buy some new ones. Uh, they're pretty cheap um, and you're good to go. So in this video, you're gonna see me catching mostly at night. Uh, I found that fishing at the Golden Quay at night is probably the best uh, idea just because fishing at night, the fish, are just, you know, they are just biting. If you look at this video, um, you're going to see me catch a whole bunch of fish and they're all mostly going to be at nighttime. I kind of cut out most of the morning time fishing because uh, sometimes the fish aren't attracted to the lures um, and it takes a bit too much strategy, frankly. And I just really wanted to get this uh, 
10 level maximum out of the way. So uh, I fished for about two to three hours to actually achieve level 10 maximum, and it was pretty easy. So, um, I mean, don't worry too much about it. As long as you fish at night, uh, it's best. And another good thing about fishing is that uh, a lot of people will go and rest and then come back and try to get more fish. Uh, it's much easier than that. All you need to do is back out of the fishing once you run out of fish in the water, and then uh, you just go back in immediately after, and then it will refresh all the fish in the uh, little, you know, spot of water. So you don't have to go rest. It doesn't require much resting at all. Um, in fact, I don't think you even need to. So at Golden Quay, use the uh, SWAT jumping something or whatever. Uh, I forget the name of it specifically. But you see me using the right lure here, and it catches um, the fish no problem. Um, it is the Sweet Jamming Moose, I believe. Uh, the Sweet Jamming Moose catches the glowing... Blah, 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 blah. The glowing barrel fish, sorry. <laughs> uh, so the glowing barrel fish are caught with the uh, with that lure. Um, pick that one, do all of your farming for the uh, max level, and then once you finish, um, you'll be done in about two to three hours at the most. Um, if you don't rest, you could do it much faster. So don't worry about how you know how many times you're resting just checking your level forget checking your level just fish fish as long as you can fish until the sun rises um and then keep fishing until the sun sets and then keep fishing when the sun until the sun rises again um forget about resting and then when you feel that you know you've you've done a lot of fishing then go rest that's all you need to remember so you're gonna see me um eventually get max level achieve the angling expert trophy uh which is a rare trophy on xbox but you know frankly i don't think too many people are playing this on xbox but anyways um after that you're going to see me catch two difficult fish in the game uh this goes um you know the first fish i'm going to catch is going to be third hardest then the next fish i'm going to catch is maybe second hardest and then uh the hardest fish will be in a different video um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the vesper pool um get all of the equipment that you can buy at the vesper pool buy all of it because uh, you're probably going to need it later on if you're a completionist and you really want to get all the types of fish in the game just buy everything uh, i buy three of every lure so if, if they break i'll have some backups and also um, buy the new uh, reel and the new rod because uh, the vesper pool reel and rod are the strongest in the game and you'll definitely need those to catch the very very difficult fish so um, buy everything and then when you have everything you're going to need to use um, a specific lure in order to catch um, the I think it's the Leash of the Lake. I think that's what it's called. Um, so you're going to need to buy a specific lure, and you'll find that um, at the Vesper Pools shop. Um, so just go down there, buy everything. Um, it is called... What's it called? I forget. It's like the Golden something. 10,000, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'm sure you'll see it there. Um, so you want to buy that lure, if I can remember what it is. What is it? It is the um, the Gold Gigantar Lure. Uh, yeah, the Giant Needle 10,000 Gold Gigantar Lure. You're going to need that if you want to catch the, um, the Liege of the Lake. Uh, for the Vesper Gar, I actually use the same thing. Uh, the Vesper Gar is what I'm going to catch first, and you're going to find it in the Vesper Pool... Um, same area where you would get where you would catch the leash of the lake. So I would say just start the tour, and then when you start the tour, um, catch the vespergar first, and then go for the leash of the lake. And you can you know kill two birds with one stone. Uh, so if you're looking for the vespergar mini quest or side quest, you can check out my previous video. You'll see me start the quest, um, do a little bit of fishing, but I won't find it there. So you want to go back to where I am in the vesper pool 
uh, in this video and catch it there. It takes, uh, it, it, it's a bit difficult. So once you max out your level, you'll be fine. Um, if you have the right lure and the right, right line and the right rod, um, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. In fact, it is a cakewalk compared to the Liege of the Lake. Um, that thing is just tough and it'll take you a long time. So for both of those catches, I have in the video the entire time it took me to catch these fish. Um, the Vesper Gar, I'll let you know. The Vesper Gar, if you're looking on the radar of uh, where the Vesper Gar is, um, the Vesper Gar is the yellow, um, I guess, the one, the yellow uh, marker with a halo on it. So most of the fish in the Vesper pool have a halo around them and or you know they, they're glowing um you want to catch the yellow one that's glowing it's very very long the Vesper gar looks very long and you'll be seeing in the video pretty long looking and then uh you just want to catch that one there off on the reeling. Better get ready to land it. Stop re look at the size of that thing. Cool. That's the one you were after. Wow. Check it out. And then if you're looking for the Liege of the Lake, it is a blue glowing uh, dot on your radar. And that fish is really difficult to catch. Do not catch that fish if, you're, um, if your fishing line is even a little bit damaged. Replace your fishing line and go for it. You'll find it dead center in the far back of your radar, uh, it's going to be the one that's moving the most. So that one is probably going to be the Vesper, uh, sorry, not Vesper Burger. It's going to be the Liege of the Lake, and you're gonna wanna catch that one um, with a maxed out reel, maxed out lure, um, the gold gigantar lure, um, and also, of course, your uh, the, the fishing line has to be clean, unused, untouched. And if you play your cards right, and if you reel at the right time, you'll be able to catch it no problem. Uh, you're gonna see me catch it in a few minutes. Um, and yeah, that's basically all you need to know. So without further ado, you can enjoy the rest of this video. Um, you can watch me catch these fish. Uh, the next video will be a huge side quest video for me. So it's gonna be a whole bunch of side quests before I keep going to chapter nine. Uh, so I do hope you enjoy that and I hope it, you find it helpful. Um, if you found this video helpful, I'll be doing another one with the final fishing um, uh, quest and you'll hear Narvis talk about it at the end of this video. But without further ado, uh, you enjoy the rest of this vid and be sure to like comment and subscribe to quidge gaming because you know we're awesome here um thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next video
That's it, not. Draw him in. Stay focused now. He's off on the reeling. You're halfway there. Just need to outlast him.
ready to grab it? Bring it closer. Something he won from one of his many battles. Hmm. Still in good shape. We can use it. Nice. Got a fish and a way to catch more. The others are gonna be stoked. Good hustle out there. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm awesome. <laughs> yourself a gar. Put up a hell of a fight like you said. I never met anyone that got so good so fast. Color me impressed. Hell, I reckon you could land the biggest prize of all. What's that? The legendary giant they call the Devil of the Sigillan. A name like that doesn't daunt you. Head to Golden Key. I'll be there too, asking around. Oh, and before I forget, if anyone can make good use of this, I reckon it's you. Yeah. 